the parents of a nine-year-old girl are furious after their daughter told them she was attacked on the school bus. The youngster says an older student pulled out her hair and the bus driver did not do anything about it. Here's Danielle Serino. It's not hard to see from the photos. This was a pretty appalling attack. Two days later, the skin is still raw on nine-year-old Nikayla Bonds. She says after an older girl ripped out her hair from its roots during a fight on a school bus. So that's when she was like climbing over the seat and just now she started ripping my hair real hard to my scalp and it was hurt. Ah, I was just mad because I can feel her pain because she got her hair braided and it takes a lot of force to pull somebody here. Like just snatch it out their head, that's just crazy. Nikayla and a male classmate from the ICANN Charter School on Chester and 40th were calling each other names. They were on their way to an after-school program at the Rainey Institute on 55th when the boy's older cousin jumped in. Then she hit me on the ground and hit my head on the window. That's when I start crying. And according to Dad and Nikayla, the driver from Community Bus Services didn't stop the fight, just dropped her off at the school program. She was bleeding from her head. Like, that's, that's crazy. And then for the bus driver to be present and not break up the fight or whatever was going on, it's just crazy. We spoke with the president of the bus company who says they and the school reviewed the video. He saw was that the driver uh, secured the bus, acted appropriately by the time the driver reached the students in the back of the bus, the fight was over. For Nikayla, it's the emotional wounds that hurt the most. Her self-esteem now shattered. She only took off her hat for us. So people won't look. And asked what happened. And it's why dad says they're looking for a new school. And she was still traumatized. And she said she didn't want to go back to school because she was embarrassed about her hair. We also spoke with the school's executive director who said after reviewing the bus video, they determined the school's code of conduct was broken and took appropriate action. The family says the older girl was expelled, but the school would not confirm that for us, Russ. All right, Danielle, thanks a lot.